the Grand Trunk Road. A part of the current route spanning the Grand Trunk Road formerly known as Uttarapatha, the road to the north, was in existence during Chandragupta's Maurya Empire, circa 322 to 185 BC. In Mauryan times, the road stretched from the mouth of the Ganges at Tomluk in Bengal to Balkh in modern-day Afghanistan. It was the Afghan ruler Shir Shah Suri who made a proper road out of the mud track, straightened the road where bends were cursive, and planted trees on both sides. His objective was to facilitate trade and connect his hometown Sisaram in Bihar, to Agra his capital. The Grand Trunk Road has played a significant role in the history of South Asia and continues to be a lifeline of trade. Kos Minar Realizing the vital role the road played in influencing the economics of India, Shir Shah Suri aimed to make it safer and facilitate travelers by constructing Kos Minars along it. A Kos is a medieval measurement unit denoting a distance of 3.2 kilometers and Minar is the Persian word for tower. The structures approximately 30 feet high, varying in height in different geographic terrains were constructed at a distance of a coast. The minars were initially constructed between Agra to Ajmer via Jaipur, then extended to Chittagong and from Agra to Lahore via Delhi, from Lahore to Kabul via Peshawar in the north and between Agra and Mandu via Shipuri in the south. The Kos Minars served as beacons for caravans, acted as milestones for calculating distance, and facilitated travelers by providing a resting place known as Sarai and fresh water reservoirs known as Bali's, were built at every eighth Kos Minar. Each Kos Minar was equipped with a horse, a rider, and a drummer to relay royal messages at a quick speed and hence played an important role in running the day-to-day -day administration of the Mughal Empire. Over the years these monuments have gone into a state of disrepair, have become victims of industrialization and land encroachers. Only one Kos Minar near the tomb of Ali Martin Khan in Lahore is not in dilapidated state. There is a need to raise awareness, check the status, and retrieve from oblivion these road monuments as communicational institutions that have played an integral role in facilitating trade along the lifeline of South Asia.